Okay, so we've talked about parallel lines and the transversals. Okay, so the ant what you're going to need to know is these things right here: corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, consecutive interior angles. Okay, vertical angles. Do you remember what vertical angles are? They'd be like this. So like two and four would be vertical angles because they'd be the same. Okay. Um, so those are things that you can, that you're going to need to know and remember from earlier. And then a linear pair is always supplementary. So how much, what is supplementary equal? 180. Yeah. So. Okay. So what we're going to look at now is we're going to come down here to this part and what it's going to give you is it's going to give us an angle. Okay. And then based on our rules, we're going to look at this and be able to figure out what the other angles equal. Okay. So this, oh, I wrote the wrong thing. Okay. So it says measure of angle one is 65. So this one is 65, right? Based on that, so it's called vertical angles right now. What other angle in this top one, two, three, or four would also be 65? Not two, three. So for measure of angle three, you can put 65 degrees because they're vertical angles. Okay, so that means three is 65. Now, it says, how much is a line worth? One line. So like a line, if we're talking about the angle, what would it equal? If it's supplementary, it equals 180. So in order to find two, what you can do is 180 minus 65. Right? And what you're going to get is 110. No, sorry, 115. So two would be 115. And good, four would be 115. So now, based on that, what you guys can do is we can use these other angles up here at the top that they give us. The corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior, and consecutive interior to figure out where it's going. Now, my suggestion for you, once you get the top one, I would use the corresponding angle method. Okay, so like, well, that was vertical to get the top. So once you get part of it, we're going to do the corresponding angle. So like one would be the same as what number down here at the bottom? Five, six, eight, seven, or eight. It's in the same five because they're in the same spot, right? So five would be 65. And then you just go about it that way. Two would be the same as what? Six. So you have six would be 115. Seven would be the same as three. Good. And then eight would be good. Okay. Slide down to this one. So this says the measure of angle six is 142. All right. Based on that, and let's just do it the same process that we did the other one between one two and five what other one is going to be 142 one, one. good okay now how would we find five or two what did we do up here at the top to find those good from what 180 right 180, yeah. So what you're going to get is you're going to get 38. Okay, so if we say 5 is 38, then what would 2 be? Good. Now, once you have those, we can use our corresponding angles method to figure out the rest. So what would 3 be? Good. And why did you say that? Good. 4. 38, 7, 
Careful. Good. And then eight would be. Good. So I'm going to leave you number three to do because I want to show you this down here at the bottom. I said I'm going to leave you guys number three because some of these get crazy. All right, so let's look at number four because this is nuts. Okay, so let's take what they give us first. All right, so we know that 12 is 121. Okay, we know that 6 is 75. Right? Find the measure of each missing angle. So, let's look down here at the bottom. Okay, let's look down here at the bottom left. The 7, 8, 11, and 12. Right, we can figure that one out, can't we? Wait, what? The 7, 8, 11, and 12. Yeah. We can figure that one out, pretty easy. Mm -hmm. All right, so, let's look at those. What would 7 be? 121, good. So seven's going to be 121. And then how would we find 8 and 11? Good. That would be 59. So 11 would be 59 and 8 would be 59. With me so far? Okay. All right, so let's look up here at the top. Okay. If we know that one or six, if we know that six is 75, right? Mm -hmm. What angle would be vertical to that? Two. Not two. Two and five would be vertical. So if we looked at it, two and five, good, you're right, one and six, four and three, right? I know that's not really, that didn't make it any better, I don't think. Okay. One and six would be vertical angles, so we could say that's 75. Okay, so we come over here to one, that's 75. With me so far? Okay. Now, 14? You're right. Yeah. Because what? Those are what type of angles? So what the problem with this is they have that extra line in there, right? So the extra line at the top is what's throwing everybody off because it looks funky. But if you look at it and you take out, so if we, if you can visually do this, this was always hard for me with geometry. If we can take that yellow line and pretend it's not there, right? So now what you're looking at, and I'm going to erase that because that might make it harder. Bear with me. We're going to look at just this right here. So this is our parallel line, right? This is our parallel line. And this is our transversal. So that's what we're looking at right now. You with me? Yeah. Okay. So if we look at one, and we know that one is 75, right? If we look at what one would be the alternate exterior angle to that down at the bottom. So you're looking at 9, 10, 14. Good. So 14 would be what? 75. Good. Okay. Now, now, based on that, so now we have this down here at the bottom, right? With me? So if we know that, can we find, what other angle can we find right away? We're looking down here in that bottom right, the 9, 10, 13, or 14. If we know 14, good, 9. So 9 would be 75, right? Okay. If we do a little bit of math, we can find 13 and 10. We do 180 minus 75. That gets us 105. Okay, so that means 10 is 105. And 13 is 105, right?
good with that so far? So now we should only have, what, four left to figure out? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to erase this. Erase this part. Erase that. Okay, so now let's visualize again. Now we're trying to find two, three, four, and five, right? So here's our parallel lines. You're always going to use those parallel lines. And now this becomes our transversal, correct? Yeah. Okay. So if we're looking here at our angles, can we figure out what 4 is? 59, right? Because it's alternate interior with 8. So 4 would be 59. Okay. Now the problem becomes what? If we're looking here at this, so now if we know 4 between 2, 3, and 5, what other one should we be able to know? 3. Okay, with me so far? So now the issue becomes, if you're looking at this here, okay, so I want you to look, I'm going to highlight this. I want you to look right here at this angle right here, right? With me? See how this has two angles now? This is where that extra line is going to throw us off a little bit. If we look here, this is 121, right? So we know that angle 5 and angle 6 have to add up to what? 121. Good. So in order to figure out what that would be, all we would have to do is take the 121, and we're going to take 75 away from it because that's the other angle that we know, right? Whatever we have left is going to give us the answer for five. So when you do that math, you get 46. So five and two would be 46, right? Because when we said earlier, when I made that giant mess up there at the top when I circled stuff, two and five are vertical angles. Okay. All right. Good with that? I know that's kind of crazy. So, actually, we're going to just stop there. And then tomorrow we will do 3, 5, and 6 together. All right? So, those of you online, just do that. For now, tomorrow I'll have you turn it in.